dresses the lilies with beauty and splendor how much more will he clothe you it's Matthew 6 30 I was on my grandparents deck today when that verse um just popped up in my mind um it's a very very beautiful verse and really just gave me lots of peace. I'm struggling a lot with spiritual warfare, I've come to realize. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, I've been very anxious and just anxious about the future and what God wants me to do and what to do and just everything and finances and just anxious. Um, but I also think it's everything that I've thought about doing comes right back to where I am. And where I am is where God wants me. I'm doing exactly what God has told me to do right now. But yet I'm, I'm anxious and striving and wanting more. You know, more progress or more guidance or more proof or more signs and... I just need to be content with where I am right now, in this day, our daily bread. Um, and that's something God really showed me within these past probably like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, in my bed, just on my phone and just thoughts are swirling, you know, um, on TikTok. A lot of my TikToks are Christian TikToks because that's majority of the videos that I like. So after watching a bunch of those, I was like, ugh, enough is enough. Like, I just need to talk to God. I just basically had to, like, be honest with God and genuinely tell Him what it is that I'm struggling with and what I need and what I want and giving him all of my anxiety and life and problems and issues and giving it all to him because he can handle it and I, I can't I can't do life without him I can't. I don't want to. I can't. Um, I will not do life without Jesus. Um, I, the more I try to ignore my thoughts and just be like, no, I don't want to feel this way. I'm going to be joyful. Instead of just being like, okay, God, I'm not feeling it right now. Please help me with this. Show me ways to fix this. Why I'm feeling this way. You know, what's going on? What should we do? You know? What do I need to work on? It's important. Instead of ignoring it, let's address the feelings, address the situation. Um, so it's what I did, and I feel a lot better now, a lot more just a peace of mind. My mind isn't whirling with thoughts at all, which is really nice, and I mean, it's just so cool how spending a glimpse of a time with Jesus fixes literally everything. Um, God's just so good and loving and merciful and never slow in keeping his promises. I've been really struggling with trusting God and being still. Um, and just trusting in him, having faith. 
um, over fear has been difficult for me recently. Um, the more I'm honest to God and the more time I spend with him, I feel so much better. And I'm more at peace and trusting in him. So that's something I'm gonna work on. I mean, it's a given. Like, God is just incredible and heals everything. But, um, yeah. I know he's got me and I know that no matter what happens, his will is going to be done. He's never going to leave me nor forsake me. And, um, even if things don't end up the way that I have planned and thought God wanted them to, it doesn't mean he's not a good father. And bottom line is, I want to spend eternity with him in heaven. So, like, whatever happens on this earth here with me, as long as I'm bringing the glory back to God with it, it shouldn't matter that much. I shouldn't be idolizing a human life here. I should just be worshiping God, letting whatever I do bring glory back to him, whether that's a normal job or whether it's online ministry or whether it's missionary work, call it anything, 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 anything. God is a good father and it's his will, that means it's his timing and I just encourage you to talk to God and tell him everything that's going on. Even if you're just really happy, just tell him and give him thanks and praise for everything that's going on in your life. He loves you and he wants to hear from you and he wants to help you. He's right there with you right now, wanting to help you. And you are not alone in your trials and tribulations and your struggles. You are not alone. God sees you and he hears you. And he's at the door of your heart knocking and he just wants to help you. Because if he dresses the lilies, beauty and splendor, how much more will he clothe you? How much more will he help you and love on you and comfort you and nurture you how much more he loves you so much please talk to him and tell him what's going on he's here to help you okay god loves you You're not alone god bless you